Hello everybody and welcome to my final declutter of 2021. So as you can see, this is, first of all, that's my cat. Don't ignore, or just ignore the mess in my room. But this is my makeup collection. This isn't even my eyeshadow palettes. I'll show you my eyeshadow palettes when we get there. But the drawers are full, or I should say the drawer. It barely shuts. And there's just too much clutter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out all the base stuff, put it out on my bed, which is where we're going to be doing the decluttering so I can really lay everything out. And then I will explain to you my purpose and my goal behind this declutter. Okay, so here are my base products. These are my foundations, my primers, my powders, and my concealers. So... It's a little bit less overwhelming when it's not in the container, but still, I want everything to fit in these two containers. So, my goal with this, first of all, I have way too much stuff. And <laughs> second of all, I am moving out of this apartment and back home for one semester. I will be coming back, but just for one semester for my internship that I'm starting in the spring. Don't know why that's hard for me to explain, but um, I'm not going to be having a big makeup organization right now. I don't even have a desk. I'm planning on buying a small acrylic organizer and I want everything to fit in there because at this point with my makeup, I don't feel like I need an overwhelming amount of stuff. I literally just want the things that I absolutely love. And with cutting down my collection, I really want to be realistic about getting rid of things and I want to get rid of things that I know I don't use regardless of how good I think the quality is or how in my mind I think it would be nice to use for blank occasion. I literally want products that I just use. I don't want things that I haven't touched all year but I remember being nice. There might be a few things that I keep just to keep testing out but for the most part just want to cut it down. So let's get started. I might do a part two to this, but we'll see how long this goes. Starting with my primers, I'm going to be keeping both of these. Sorry if this is like super washed out, but I'm going to be keeping both of these. The Say Beauty um, Glowy Super Gels and Star Glow. I love this one to add hydration and a really nice glow if I have a more full coverage foundation on. And then the Auric Glow Lust I use as an all over base as like a tinted moisturizer with some concealer and I really like it. It is a little bit peachy for me and I want the shade Morganite, but I still, oh my gosh, I still really love and use this. For foundations, I know I can get rid of this Charlotte Tilbury Airbus Airbrush Flawless Foundation, super full coverage and just not something I use at all. Uh, I'm pretty sure I use this like once, so I got this in PR and I'll just be giving it away to someone. Now, these four foundations, I actually also have one from N Cosmetics that's like a backup that I haven't reopened yet, which I will be keeping, but I will obviously be keeping my Fenty Beauty foundation. Love this one. It's the Age Drops. Tower 28 Sunny Days, I really like. Also, if you hear scratching, my cat is fine. She just can't decide if she wants in or out of my room, but I love this one as a glowier skin tint option. And the Rare Beauty Foundation I like a lot, especially lately I've been using the Say primer underneath and then this on top and it gives me the perfect amount of coverage without having to add too much product. So I'm going to keep that. And then the LYS foundation, I don't know. I haven't been loving it the recent times I've used it. It just looks really thick and heavy on my skin. So I think I'm going to declutter it and maybe try it out one more time. And if I like it, I'll put it back in my collection. But right now, I just, every time my makeup just looks really thick and heavy and I haven't been liking it any time that I use it. It might be the cheek products that I use with it, but I just think that this isn't good for my skin, so I'm going to get rid of that. These are my powders. This Bite Beauty powder will be gone before I move, so I'm not worried about that one. I'm going to keep it. My NARS Crystal, what is this? The Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. This is my favorite setting powder. It's so good if you have dry skin. I have a really good dip in it, and I think I will hit pan on this next year. But this is a beautiful powder that I will be keeping. The Kosas Cloud Set Powder in Breezy. I've been using more lately since my Bite Beauty one is almost empty, and I do really enjoy this. By the way, don't come in here if you expect me to get rid of half my collection. When I like say I want to go more minimal, that's just for me personally. I want to keep things that I really love and not necessarily like get to a number count. Just feel good about every item so just letting you know that um the glossier wowder i bought this because i thought i would need like a heavy set 
thing to like really tone down the glow but i haven't used this since i got it so i'm going to declutter that and the color e science this is like a sunscreen powder i am going to keep but i'm going to like put in a purse or something to take with me because i don't know i feel like that'd be best to add sunscreen to my face but i'm going to keep that my concealers the one i use every day is the glossier stretch concealer this one isn't going anywhere and the Rare Beauty Concealer, I every time I've used this, like the past five times, it's looked so bad on my under eyes. Don't know if it's just too drying, if it just, I don't even know what it is, but it's just looked bad on me every time. And like it's over halfway gone, so I'm just going to declutter this. The Kosas Concealer, I repurchased this like during a good sale and I had store credit. So I'm going to keep this one and I think I will like it as a hydrating option. The Dior concealer, I've been working my way through. I really like this as like my concealer on my cheeks if I need to cover some redness. And then this Charlotte Tilbury color corrector. I do like, but I don't use too often because the Glossier one works well to color correct. So I kept four concealers, got rid of one. I kept three foundations and got rid of two. Kept three powders, four if you count the bite, and got rid of one. And then I kept two primers. So I'm going to organize this by putting, I think the same way I had it before, putting my primers and my foundations in here. Like that, like this is manageable, manageable to me, I like that. And then my powders and concealers in here. This like section in my drawer is harder to get to, so I try not to like lean things over if that makes sense. And also, a lot of this stuff stays in my Shop My Stash every week, so I'm not too concerned about this section, but this is how it looks like. As you can tell by my usage, I use almost every single product in here. The powders I switch through, and then the concealers, I use like two every day. So I'm really not worried about this. So this is my base collection. I got rid of four things. This is fine. I'm happy with this number. I mean three foundations is very manageable for me especially considering like all of them are halfway empty now for highlighters i really don't use highlighters so i don't need many but the hard thing is i really like all of these so it's hard for me to get rid of them so i have six i only have one cream even though creams are my favorite but just haven't found one that i really love so one that i know i'm going to keep is the phytosurgeon spectral shine in mirrored moonlight this is the only one that I use it at the moment because it's a really natural glow highlighter, and I love this one. The Pat McGrath highlighter, I'm going to get rid of. This is just, I don't know, it's really pretty on the skin, but it is intense, and it is a little bit dark for me, and I think it's similar in tone to the Charlotte Tilbury one, but it's like a gold version, so... I just don't use it, so there's no point in me keeping it. Um, but the Charlotte Tilbury one I am going to keep. I need to use this one more because I haven't used it in a while, but I do remember really enjoying this one, and it was expensive, so I'm going to keep that one. The Makeup by Mari one is my number one favorite powder. It just looks really natural on the skin, but provides a nice glow, and this is one that I do like to reach for. The Vesca highlighter... I have not reached for this one in a long time. It is a really good formula, but I don't know if I would ever reach for it over my Makeup by Mario one. It is a little bit of a different tone. Sorry if you can hear my roommate. Everyone is being so loud in my house, I'm sorry. Um, it is a different tone, and I do know that I really like the formula, but I just don't know if I'm ever going to reach for it over the Makeup by Mario, so I am just going to keep it. I know that's going to make the people <laughs> mad that really want me to declutter stuff but I do like it and I don't want to get rid of it and then regret getting rid of it because I just haven't used it in a while and it is something that I know I like and I know I said I wasn't going to do that for everything but highlighters I'm not concerned about because I have started out with six. The Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter. Oh guys this one is hard. I loved this one but the past few times that I've worn it it's like broken up my foundation underneath and it just hasn't looked good. So I don't know if it's just gone bad or if my makeup taste has changed. I mean, I've used like a fourth of it, a third of it. I don't even know. I think this is going to be decluttered, but I'm going to try it out before I actually declutter it because it's not like I can pass this one on. And I know I fell in love with this one, so I want to try and play around with it and see if I just need to wear like a glowy hydrating foundation underneath and not 
a heavy one. I don't know, but I know I really love this one, and it's my only cream. I'm really sorry. I already know some people are going to get really mad about me not getting rid of stuff, but it's my collection, and I literally don't care. So I'm keeping four powders and getting rid of one and keeping one cream. So I don't think that that's bad. I know I don't reach for all of these, but... I'm not going to be buying new highlighters anytime soon, and I'd rather keep these than buy a new one because I don't have any left, if that makes sense. So, going to be getting rid of one. Now, getting into the sections where I actually need to declutter stuff. This is blush. Let me pull out all of my creams first so we can go through those. Okay, these are my blushes. This is a lot of creams. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cream blushes, and I reach for less than half of these. Okay, so let's get the hard part out of the way. These Tower 28 cream blushes I just have fallen out of love with. The formula is really thick and sticky, and I've just found better formulas, better colors, easier things for me to work with. So I'm going to be getting rid of Magic Hour because it's just getting old anyways and I have similar shades to it in a formula that I like better. Gonna be getting rid of that one as much as that hurts because that used to be my number one favorite blush. But I am going to keep Rush Hour because this is a really pretty coral that I don't have any other shade like. So I will keep that one. My cat is coming up here because she's very lonely and is having a crying fit every time I don't give her attention. Anyways... She's just gonna stand right here, I guess. These two shades, this is Power Hour and this is After Hours. I really love the tones of these, but Power Hour is not unique to me. I have a few other dupes. And After Hours is a beautiful color, but because it's so deep, I need a small amount. But the formula makes it a little bit harder to sheer out because it is a thicker formula. So I'm gonna pass these on before they go bad to a friend if they want them. But I'm going to be getting rid of three of my Tower 28 blushes and keeping one, which I literally never thought I would do. But I just don't reach for them. This MAC Glow Play blush is so natural. I loved this one for a while, but this one just hasn't looked good on me. I think it's just really light, so that way I need to build it up a decent bit. But then when I build it up, because it is that creamy powder formula, it just looks heavy on the skin. It emphasizes my pores, and I don't love the color on me. I think I would maybe get the same formula, but in a different, more vibrant or deeper shade that, I don't know, just would blend better. But this one I just don't love lately. It just hasn't looked good. There's a few makeup products that every time I use them, I just don't like my makeup, and I don't want to deal with that, especially when I have to go to work at 8 a.m. I don't want to have to deal with it. Okay, let's talk about some loves. These M Cosmetics blushes. I have Bitten. By the way, I'm not swatching anything because then I'll want to keep everything, but this is Bitten. And this is Venetian Rose. These are my favorite cream blushes in my collection, so I'm keeping both of those. I have two Phytosurgeons. Fume is a brand new one to my collection, and I think this one will nicely replace Tower 28, but it won't be so orangey, and it'll just be a really nice neutral blush. You can see it has a little bit of cold tonedness to it that I think will warm up nicely on my face. So I haven't tried this one. I literally got it in the mail today, but I'm going to keep that one. And then this shade Molten is good in concept, but I don't think I'm ever going to reach for this. I've used it like twice. Um, it's a really bright orange, and you need a small amount, and it's easy to sheer out, but it's not a color that I don't know who I was buying this color. Like, I don't wear bright oranges, so I'm going to get rid of this one. As glorious as the formula is, I don't want to keep it just because I like the formula and the brand, especially now that I have Fume. This is good. We're getting rid of five, keeping four. Um, okay, my blush lights from Melt. The shade Polished, I absolutely love in the summertime. It's a really pretty grapefruit pink color. And this formula is one of the best cream blush formulas. It's a really thin like dry or oil formula that is just weightless on the skin and it's honestly what made me start to not like the tower 28 ones as much because of how thin it is but the shade lynx is just too light for me i think i don't really like the color i think i let like julia adams convince me to get this even though this is a color i would never get and it's similar to the powder blush and faded clementine for m cosmetics which i do like this one I just have never really loved on my skin. I don't think it has enough vibrancy 
or like color to it to brighten up my face so I'm gonna get rid of that one the say do blush in the shade rosy I really enjoy this color so I'm gonna keep it it's like an everyday color similar to fume but this one is a little bit more orangey pinky and this one is more muted the Kosas tropic equinox blush I bought this with great intentions and I haven't touched it in a while um, I just like really thin formulas that set down and this is a thicker formula that stays sticky on the skin and while it is really beautiful, I just don't know if I need it. I'm going to say maybe to that one and let's do this Patrick Ta ones. She's so LA. I think I need to choose between which one of these I want. Okay, so the Kosas one, I don't know. It's a beautiful color though. I haven't used it enough and I remember really liking it when I did use it. I just don't like the method of application because it is such a thick formula. So I think I am just going to get rid of this one because it's not a formula that I reach for every day. I like the look of it on the skin, but in reality, I just don't like using it. And yeah, I like my other blushes more, even though that sucks to say because I got it pretty recently. But the Patrick Ta blush and She's So LA, I'm going to keep this one. This will be my bronzy blush because a lot of these are pinkier, but I think I have a good tone variety. And I think this adds a lot of value to this little collection. And then the Patrick Ta blush in She's That Girl is a beautiful pink color. It's like my everyday pink, and I really like this one. So for creams, I got rid of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I'm keeping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is fine. I think that's really good. I also have this Patrick Ta blush palette. To be honest, probably shouldn't have bought this one, but I think as the spring and summer come around, I'm really going to enjoy using this one. And the colors are beautiful. The formula is beautiful. And I'm going to keep this one. For my powders, I'm not going to get rid of many of these. I really like my powder blushes. I think I did a really good job curating these. But I have five. I'm um, probably going to keep four of them. The Blush and Divine Rose from Pat McGrath. This is my favorite blush in my collection. Beautiful color. Amazing formula. It just effort effortlessly goes on the skin. Looks beautiful. I adore it. The shade Faded Clementine from M Cosmetics is a really pretty bronzy color, but it's a different type of bronze from She's So LA. It's more of an orange, and this is really pretty for the summertime. Hourglass at night. I think I just have too much orange in my formula, and I can get a similar look with the M Cosmetics one, but I like this one better. And sometimes the Hourglass one, I just don't like the look of it. And I don't want products where I have to guess if it's going to look good or not, so I'm going to get rid of this one. It's also really expensive, and I don't know why I bought it. Um, the shade Sublime Flush, I am going to keep... I don't support the brand, but this is a really beautiful everyday color that I could see myself using a lot before work. It's like a cool toned lilac pink. It's a swirl between like a pink and a lilac. I don't know if you can tell, but I do really like this blush and I feel like I haven't had enough time with this one and I'm not ready to get rid of it. And then Bare Minerals Kiss of Pink is another really pretty everyday pink color. I know that brings me to three everyday pink colors, but I do really like them and I can see myself getting use out of all of them. I'm gonna keep all of these. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve blushes and a blush palette. I think that that's fine and I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's a really good ratio and I think this is gonna fit my drawer nicely. So I think as long as it can fit in here, I will be happy. This is gonna go with my eyeshadow palettes, but Paint the rest of these. If I can get them in there and they can fit in my drawer with it closed, I will be very happy. Not the best organization for these. Um, how else can I do this? I think that's better. But all of these blushes give me joy, and this is a much better organization of this category. I actually have one more blush that I got during Black Friday, kind of an impulse purchase, but overall I'm really happy with this because I love all of these blushes. These are my bronzers. Let's go through the creams first. This is going to be hard because bronzers, I feel like I don't dislike any of these. <sighs> okay, one that I'm going to keep is this Patrick Ta one. This is probably my number one in my collection right now. I have good use on it. Don't know if you can tell, but I'm flattening the powder and I have a good dip on the cream. Love this one. I also really like the Fenty one. I have pan on it and I want to use this one up in the next year maybe. So I'm going to keep that one. 
these are the ones that are like they can stay they can go because i use these two every day um these two glossier ones i think i'm just going to get rid of both of them i don't like liquid bronzers and i don't love the colors of these they're good and i'm not disappointed in these but these don't beat my two favorites so there's no point in keeping them i have the shades flare and ray i'm gonna get rid of both of these haven't used them much the makeup by mario stick bronzer i do like this one i think i use this one more in the summertime because it's a little bit more i don't know full coverage of a bronzer but i do really like the formula of that and then these tower 28 ones i have west coast and gold coast these are both good and i don't have a problem with either of these but they're also not my favorite of all time so i think i'm going to get rid of gold coast which is this yellow toned one because to me it's an everyday bronzer color that i can use these ones instead and i always like these ones better than gold coast this one is just fine i don't love it but i also don't dislike it i think it looks good but again these ones are always going to look better and then west coast i am going to keep because this one is more unique to me i use this one as a really summery red toned bronzer and it serves a different purpose to these ones versus this one is an everyday bronzer i don't need any more everyday cream bronzers so keeping four creams and getting rid of three powders i don't think i'm going to do well on i have four in one sample size i'm going to keep my charlotte tilbury one in the shade medium i do really like this one victoria beckham in the shade 01 I don't need to keep this one, but I bought it and I do enjoy it, so I'm going to keep it. And then these ones I don't use as much, but the Kosas bronzer in the shade light is a favorite of mine, so I'm going to keep it. The Hourglass one in nude bronze light. This is hard because I love it as a bronzer topper, but I feel like since I have the Victoria Beckham one, this one is almost like if you took the two swirled shades out of this and put it in a pan, that's exactly what this would be and i like the victoria beckham one better than the hourglass and if i need a bronzer topper i'm usually using this because if i'm using a powder bronzer it means i'm probably not using a cream but if i want to put a powder on top of a cream it usually means i have this bronzer out so i don't think i need this thing does not stay shut <laughs> i don't think i need the hourglass one i also don't love the brand and i'm not in love with the formula I mean, it's a good formula, but like, I don't get super excited over powder bronzers, and I have these ones that I really like, so I'm going to get rid of that one, and then this NARS Little Laguna bronzer, I was going to get rid of, but I'm actually traveling a lot for my internship, and a lot of the times I like to use a bronzer in my crease for my single eyeshadows, but I don't want to bring these big bronzers that are going to break when I fly, so I think this one will actually be my travel bronzer. And I'm not just saying that, I am actually traveling a good bit for my internship. Otherwise, I wouldn't care about traveling once a year. I don't need a bronzer for that. But since I am traveling a lot, I am going to keep this one. So getting rid of four bronzers, keeping seven and one mini, which is fine. So that's what the bronzers look like. Way more organized. So just for reference, this is what I'm decluttering so far out of the base category. I think this is pretty good. Makes me sad because it's a few PR items, but I think they can go to better friends. Hello, so I'm on my laptop editing this video. The quality is really bad, but I decided I'm going to split this up into two videos because the eyeshadow and lip product declutter section ended up being really long. So that video should be up in two days, so two days after this video is posted. And it's going to be my single eyeshadow, my eyeshadow palette, like brow eye mascara eyeliner that kind of thing and lip product declutter so keep an eye out for that but thank you for watching this declutter video and i'll see you in that video very soon